back to Jamie Tech. In today's video, we are going to show you how live activity works in iOS uh, 16 plus, right? Uh, you must have a version of 16 plus and Xcode 15 and there are some constraint exactly you must have a developer account right uh, push notification should be enabled and uh, then what we have to go through is go to the info.plist you must have to add a one property there uh, which is here where, where I can't find it come on uh, the support live activity this one and make it yes these are something that you must do that otherwise you will get a bang error so what you have to do is to go and uh, go to this I mean you just need to create a new application and then uh, go and uh, create a new widget I mean add a new widget you can go and we widget extension and get to go name it and must click this one right once it is done uh, you will have such kind of inf uh, I mean mm, format and um, files and uh, what you have to do is to make one uh, the attribute type would be I mean it should be uh, for both for example if you want to create for both I mean want to create a new file attributes and you must check them both of them so that it is accessible from both of them right uh, so I created similar this one and what we have is here we have few attributes uh, like this I mean these are my attributes and then uh, what I I mean here's my bundle and uh, you must have to call only with the one you want to do I mean the live activity ones and uh, I have the live activities here and you can go through this one here it is I mean and it's quite simple right and you can call the um, default one as well right and what we have here we, we have nothing here we, we did not call this one if you want you can do that uh, I think it's here we, you can call it here but it will definitely appear on the um, home screen so once everything is set up you can give a run and it will work perfectly uh, I think that's it thank you for watching don't miss an update